Now to our Veterans Voices series. A local woman's father, while serving in World War II in Germany, came upon a stopped train. He and the others around him found inside Holocaust victims, many near death. The soldiers paused their mission and saved their lives. Now the story went untold until a documentary was made about it. That was recently shown at the Little Theater in Rochester. And Adam Chodak was there and talked to special guests who traveled to our area for the screening. Rona Arado snuck out of the theater to talk with me right before the start of the film, a film about the GIs who found the train loaded with 2,500 captives discarded by the Nazis. Also, a film about those captives, and because of that, a film about Rona's husband, Paul, who had been one of them. And it wasn't until after we became involved in this project that he started talking to other people about it. One person he told was Edith and Judy's father, and that's where this story takes one of those that's crazy turns. And there's been so many coincidences the way um, their father, my, my husband Paul, worked with their father Leslie for 20 years, and they never knew that they were all on the same train until one day over coffee they just started talking like, where were you? And they discovered. The discovery of the story of the train led to those connections, then reunions, and eventually trips. One of them to the site in Germany where it all happened. So these are just remarkable events that have now transcended into our lives and that, you know, our children have, are learn, have learned about. I now have a one-year-old granddaughter who is named after my father who will learn about it and watch the movie. The story that dozens in Rochester watched and now carry with them. There are people that care in this crazy world we're living in. Yeah. Um, we need reminders like this okay. every day. Um, there are good people in the world and we have to make sure that um, that people understand it can be difficult sometimes to make the right choices, but it's so important too because um, otherwise we're going down a path that nobody wants to see. Um, we have to remember the good um, and make sure that we continue um, building on that going forward. Continuing is the perfect word for all this. The train that had stopped in its tracks is now the source of a story that continues to roll on, its destination unknown. Paul passed away 11 years ago, but it's a legacy he's left us, and uh, it's just an amazing story. Adam Chodak, News 8.